This beat the insight you need. Top diplomats from the world's richest countries and largest developing countries are in Bali at the G20 meetings. With topics such as climate change, poverty and lingering effects of the coronavirus pandemic on the agenda, the Russia-Ukraine conflict is also certain to dominant discussions. The U.S. is expected to push the world's top economies to promote a tougher line on Russia, but Boris Johnson's resignation is likely to dent such efforts by the U.S. and Europe. U.S. officials say they believe the primary focus of the Bali conference should be the Ukraine crisis and its impact on global food and energy security, but with sharp divisions between the West and East and emerging North-South differences, the possibility of achieving a united agreement seems small. Part of that reason, as some analysts point out, is that the G20 is drifting away from its strategic role as a major mechanism for international economic cooperation and regulating financial markets. The G20 was created in 1999 in response to the financial crisis in the late 1990s and the growing influence of emerging market economies on the global economy. So it is a multilateral platform that connects the world's major developed and emerging economies and facilitate countries to act in unison on the base of consensus. Together, the G20 member represent more than 80% of the world's GDP, 75% of international trade and 60% of the world's population. In the past, the G20 has produced joint communiques on key issues including terrorism, transnational crime, climate and economic matters, and these joint communiques have served as important international policy blueprints. Although the scope of discussions at the G20 meeting in recent years has become increasingly extensive, including topics on anti-corruption, labor, climate, epidemic and so on, its mainstay has been centered around global governance issues in economic and financial fields. And for this year's meetings, analysts say, to avoid deviating from the G20's fundamental role as an influence on global economic policy is key to maintaining the vitality of this mechanism as we navigate increasingly complex times.